guys, good morning. Welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is the Rusty Gears SMP and I am back for episode 14. We have a lot to do and I have I have so much on my list of stuff to do, but I wanted to catch you up on what I've been doing in between episodes. Um, I did a little trade with Nathan for some, uh, he gave me 61 church stones and I gave him a couple of stacks of salt, which was really nice. I'm sorry I didn't record that. He didn't record it either. He just hopped in here um, one day and we just had a little trade. So that was really nice. I've been working on some designs for the barn. Let me show you um, what I've done. Um, and I made a mistake too. I accidentally killed my boar, my only boar. So I have had to come in here and find, get a new boar. So I need to fill in this channel. I found boar over here and I channeled him over to here. And now there he is. And a couple of my gen nine pigs got out into this main area. So I need to probably just get him back in there with those other girls and kill these two. Um, but this is my barn so far. Shoot, I shouldn't have dropped down in here. Um, this is going to be it. And I think I'm going to make it like a double story one, um, similar to the other one, with like roofs coming off partway down here, and then another multiple story roof up there. I might even go down here to make like a cellar in a cheese area. I think I might do that. I think that would be a great idea. I might go, like, make a staircase downstairs. Maybe right there. Because that there's a hill right there. But anyway, this is the beginnings of the barn. My um, sheep are awesome. Be I mean, my pigs are awesome because they don't really um, run from you anymore. Which is really nice. I'm not feeding them until I get... Um, this was to get the pig in. The boar in. Not really feeding them yet until I figured this all out. But um, anyway, what else did I do? I did uh, the garden. I did. I made a bunch of new lanterns. I made a bunch of candles, and I p started putting them in the stairs. I've um, harvested the bees twice, and I made a bunch of candles. And I started carving out these little areas in the stairs that I'm going to start packing with candles every two. So I'm going to put candles every second turn here. So I think this this will be nice. So it's like this the whole way down. Um, and I think, yeah, so and the whole way up. Um, what else did I do? I did a, made a full complement of windmills. Oh, look, I have a couple blueberries thought about growing some blueberries here in the winter, some berries here in the winter. I put full windmills on that ugly contraption. But now I am really doing well with the speed of my health hammers, so they should be pretty easy to use and finish and do a bunch of iron. So I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some fire bricks started. And I'm going to do some iron. Check on this. All my flax is planted in the other garden, and it was very cold when I was there last. So I know it was risky to plant the flax, but I did. So uh, let's let's get going. One of the things I've been doing is I have been playing the trader game a little bit, and I have been making going over to the clothing trader, and he will buy leather and these sewing kits. So I've been making these and taking them over. I've also been panning my bony soil. Um, he'll take three. I just killed a couple of uh, wild pigs that were in that trench. I did fix that trench already. So I'm going to do a little bit of cooking here with you. Uh, we'll do, take two pots. Look at all those gears I've got. So I'm back up to 33 rusty gears because I've been playing, um, trading with some traders. Uh, there's an artisan trader too um, through the second TL that I went through on the last episode to the south um, east that I didn't know about. Apache told me about that person, so I've been selling clay to that person. And then I've been going over to the clothing trader. We're going to do that together here. And I panned on my bony soil, so I have all these gems as well. So I'd like to take them over to the... Um, artisan trader and a luxury trader. Luxury traders will also buy these. And I did get a couple of books. I'm not going to read them right now, but I will soon. So let's um, cook a little bit of food um, and go get, um, go do a little bit of trading. 
let's take put that in there let's get some um Oh, I can only one, two, three. Okay, well, let's go get some veggies to put with these. I don't think I have any fruit. I have the berries that are upstairs, but let's just do, um, let's just do some onions with one of them, and let's do some cabbage with another. I don't very much. I don't very often cook on camera, but I really do love the cooking in this game. Um. I really do. One, two, three. Let's just do onions with this one. Oops. Dang it. And then we'll do the cabbage with this one. Did I bring enough to do cabbage with this one? Nope. So we will do onions with it too. Perfect. And I need firewood. So I did get some peat when we were up with the what in the polar bear wolf area. I got some peat, so I don't have a ton of it, but I am going to plan on going to get more. That's the other thing that I did do is I did go to um, the TL um, on the other side of the polar bear TL. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the winter TL. Um, I did go on the other side of that and put in a little. Um, a uh, little cover over the teal. I do need to bring when I go another oil lamp because I did make a place for two and I forgot to bring two. So we're gonna put those back. We're gonna put this fat from those. Look at how much fat I have and this isn't even all of it. I have a whole bunch more fat in the forge. Um, and I have this food. I wonder how, well that's pretty good but I do just need to cook that red meat that I got. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going to put this other little piece of red meat right uh, here. And we'll put the onions and the cabbage back. I'm trying to stay organized in here. Um, I'm a little worried about, about my flax um, because I'm worried that it's going to get too cold and that it's going to be damaged. So I do want to go check the garden with you as well. I think I might just stay on for a bit here. Let's eat some. Let's fill up this as well. Um, and we'll go over to the trader. I'll get some uh, leather. While this is cooking, let's run downstairs and get some leather. I'm the only one on. It is uh, Wednesday morning, my day off, and I will be um, playing a lot today and probably releasing this tomorrow. Um, let's see. Look at all this leather I have, you guys. So much leather. Let's just grab a stack of it to take to the trader. I don't remember how much he'll take. He's a clothing trader, so I'm not really going to want to buy anything from him. Um, I do want to look up what clothing I can make. Oh, geez, misters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I did start some more blue dye as well because I want to be able to replace this. Look at that. It's crazy. So I have more blue dye coming. Oh, look, it's apocalyptic. We're not going anywhere yet, guys. We're going to stay right here. Um, so I'll come back when the food is done and when we can go to the trader. Looks like my blue dye is done, which is fantastic. So um, I slept through the night, finished doing the cooking, and uh, grabbed leather and the sewing kits. There's still a lot of monsters out here, but it's not apocalyptic anymore. So we're going to run over to the clothing trader and then the garden. Um, so I also did this road to the TL. And as you can see, if you look out in the distance, there is that little hut there, right there. I'll show you this road in a little while next time we travel it. Um, but now there's a sign here that says to the TL. And I even said where the TL goes, the community center and me. So, and then I'm going to be building this a little bridge and I'm going to be making this, I know it might be a little stinky park next to my, but I'm going to be building like, uh, like I'm going to be putting in some flower beds and a bench so we can sit and look out at the water there. But the clothing trader is over here by Jay's place. I could probably cut across, but, um, this is nice and easy. There's the clothing trader. And let's hope enough time has gone by. If not, then we'll have to come back. 
So here he is. And he's not buying leather or... That's too bad. He's not buying leather or this. Last time I made a good stat, like 11 gears off of him. Um, I would absolutely love some jewelry eventually, but I'm going to keep um, panning as well. So we will look at this next time. Like I would ever sell you an owl treasure chest, dude. I would never do that. Never. Okay, I'm going to go get an oil lamp. I think we could run down to the artisan trader and see what he's doing now. I could show you that. So um, let me run and get an oil lamp, and then I will show you um, the other side of the TL, what I did. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. This is the beginning of the road to the TL. Last time I was over here, I saw a polar bear, and I'll put a picture of it up right here. I took a picture of him. He was sleeping. Because I'm a malefactor, I can get closer to the animals than um, non-malefactors. So I was able to sneak up on him a little bit and get a picture. I wasn't going to get much closer than that, though. So here we are at this um, little uh, TL post. I put two, TL2 and then watch out for polar bears. And then I'll show you the other side real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll run over to the luxuries. I did grab a few things. I grabbed my, my um, gems. I grabbed my uh, gears. Um, and we'll run over to a luxuries trader and the artisan trader. Oh, I meant to grab um, some, I'll grab some clay before we go all the way back to sell. Some clay to sell to the, um, To, wait, this needs another ladder so we don't have to jump. This is actually going to be a uh, teleporter that I use a lot since everyone else seems to hate it so much. I'm going to be using this one a lot. I'm going to be exploring here a lot because it looks like there's, look at all the bauxite. It looks like there's jungle and stuff to this way. So I'm going to be looking going over here a lot. Maybe if I find a beautiful, beautiful jungle, I will actually build a, another satellite house over here in the jungle because I really do love the jungle. So this will be future plans. We will see how this goes. But I did want to bring another oil lamp over here so it's lit up um, because this place is kind of dark with the winter and show you really quickly what I did. I made a glacier block floor right here. And then um, we'll put that one right there. And it's just got a little roof. It's a one-way kind of entrance here. And the polar bear was right over here. It is very cold over here. I did even repair my clothes. Let's see, what is this trader? He's a furniture trader. Um, well, since we're here, let's just go look. I did repair all my clothes, but even though I was here the last time, I was still freezing. It's very cold here. Minus 31 right now. Oh, goodness, guys. Oh, he has Traveler Solitude, 10 gears. I have that one, 12 gears. Let's buy it, guys. Let's buy it, right? Yes. Buy, sell. Yeah. I should have brought some glass. Okay, we're going to get that one, guys. I have to have it. Okay, let's run to the other um, TL, and I will get to the artisan trader, and then I, if something happens in between, I'll keep recording. If something happens in between, that way I can show you. Uh, but I will come back to you when we are safe and sound over there. I think this is cute. I love it. Okay, here we are at the TL. Um, I won't, I'm hoping that nobody minds, but I'm going to do a little platform here for this TL as well, as I want them all to look very nice and pretty and obvious. So let's go to this one, and I'm going to show you where um, this... I would really like that to go up right out of the TL, but that's okay. So the, the artisan trader over here is just to the southwest, which is really nice. 
and I did stop and get some clay. You can see them in blue there on my mini map. And there he is. Let's see what he's got. Okay, very nice. Morning and nightfall. Okay, he will buy. We have, okay, we have a gem that is low potential. So we have, um, and we have a peridot that's low potential. So he'll buy that one. Very nice. We're going to do one of these at a time. He'll buy emeralds. Uh, low? Oh, hi. He won't buy my emeralds or my diamonds. But look what he'll also buy. He'll buy, he'll only buy one stack of the fire clay. Well, we added a few gears, which is nice. Oh my gosh, he'll buy fat? Jeez Louise, you know how much, how much I could sell him? Well, that's only one gear though. Okay, we need to start looking at these. We need to get a couple. I think I'm going to buy Nightfall because that is a really nice morning. Maybe I should buy both of them. Let's buy both of them. That one's five gears and that one's five gears. Let's buy both. Ten gears. Yeah, we're going to be playing this game. We're going to be playing this trader game. So I'm really um, going to keep after this. We're going to get some beautiful stuff. So let's go ahead and risk it and leave some of this clay here. Guys, if you're watching my videos, this is my clay to trade. <laughs> but I am loving that there's an artisan trader. I don't think I want any of the, um, I don't think I want any of these yet. I'm going to concentrate on the wall hangings first. Um, that was beautiful. 21 gears. Look at that one. Nine gears. Those are really cool. But um, that's really pretty too. 12 gears. Yeah, I'm going to wait until I have some more money. My constant, my, I want my, uh, my focus to be elsewhere for now. But that's really good. We got three new wall hangings and the start of two more tapestries. Let's eat. So the other thing I want to do is go to the luxuries trader. And he is back through. We'll come back and explore this area a lot more. But we're going to. Are those blueberries? Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes. Blueberries right here. Blueberries. Blueberries. Let's get them. Excellent. I'm so short on blueberries. Okay, we're going to go to the Luxury's Trader. He is on the other side of the TL back toward home across the lake. So I'll see you there. Okay, guys, I'm here. And it only looks like he'll buy the rough peridot. He will. Oh, I didn't. I already sold that one. And I sold mine for nine gears. So that's great. I got um, I got a good deal. But it looks like that's all I be, will be able to sell to him. Um, I could buy a chandelier. That is pretty nice. I could buy. Dang, you guys. That's very tempting. 17 gears. I think I'm going to do it. I have all kinds of candles. It'll really light up that I can put it above the dining table when I get that done. He has jewelry too. Oh, that's so tempting. I can't buy both of those because it's 34. Okay, let's go ahead and get the chandelier. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hoard my coin. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna use it for sure. Okay, guys, it is the middle of the night. I think I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna go home. So I will see you um for the next thing that we're going to do. I think we're going to put together a pulverizer and do some iron. I was so worried about my flax, but now it's fine. Look, you guys, it is, it's fine. It's so cold over here. 1.6 degrees minus 1.6 flax goes to minus five. So I'm thankful that my flax is fine. I'm going to harvest this. Look at all this fields of flax. I feel like singing a sting song fields of gold or something anyway i'm gonna harvest this up really quick and uh let this sit fallow until we probably have a little bit more better weather well here we go this is what i got um i got a full box of flax i got 56 um regular linen 
two stacks of the flax twine and nine extra pieces. I am going to keep some of these pieces, the, some of these, I probably can go ahead and just make this into, there we go, a full stack, 32 and nine extra, and then a lots of flax, of course, that I don't have anything to do with. I mean, I can like feed it to my animals. The berries are not doing anything yet though. Um, because it's winter and it's very cold here. The first winter I could grow berries pretty much all year. But anyway, um, the garden is done. It's all emptied out and I'm just gonna let it sit fallow. Um, I might just consider this more the flax garden. Anyway, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna check the garden up above. Well, of course there's absolutely no wind and I'm about to put in the pulverizer. So what I've done is, let me show you push the right keys here. I've made two pounder caps. I've made the pulverizer frame and the toggle. I've made another transmission and clutch and I've put the transmission and clutch in right here. I'm going to put the pulverizer right there, but I need to make the pounder caps. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for that. Um, I think a pounder cap only takes one, right? Isn't that the pounder cap? Yes. So let's do this. Uh, this, um, this hammer is almost dead. And there it goes. I have more hammers. Thank goodness. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to start some steel. So I'm going to go up and get some bauxite. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm going to get some bauxite and uh, probably next, but we're going to get this going first. So I'm going to need some copper plates to, to set to automate the pulverizer. It feels like I just did this in my single player game. Um, let's make one more. Pounder cap. Okay, um, down. So funny when I hit the side wall. Oh, damn it. What is the problem there now? Oh, that's, that was a little wonky. Um, I did make some aged crates for upstairs. Okay, let's put this, so this is going to need to be on a block. Let's put a nice block in. Let's put, um, let's just put one of these nice blocks in. I just need one. So it's going to set right here and face this way. So this is going to come right there. Nope. Oops, did I just... Maybe I don't need to do it this way. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah, because I'm going to need the hopper. So it, goes, it, needs to go, it needs to go up one. So we're going to put it... Oh my gosh, why is it not... How can I get it to turn the right way? There we go. We're going to face it out this way. We can take this one off and then put one of these doohickeys on. Okay. There we go. Now we need, oh, I may have, I think I'm, I'm thinking of pushing this out one more. Let's see how this is going to work. Um, we're going to put the toggle in. We're going to put the pounders in. And the caps on. Did that put them both on? Yeah. Now we just need wind. No, I have no wind. Now I'm hoping. I don't know whether that will actually work because that might not have enough room up there. Come on, wind. 
I may have to do something a little more tricky down here to make this work here. Let me redo this and I'll get back to you guys. I'm going to take this down and try something different. Okay guys, well I did get a few things adjusted in here and I wanted to show you before I have to log off because I have to go, I have a couple of appointments today, but I think this is going to be pretty good. I put the pulverizer against the wall. I think it's super organized and nice and neat. I pushed this back so I have a couple blocks that I have to chisel now. And I need to do something along this edge right here. I think, I think I'm just going to chisel this so it's rounded a little bit. Um, so that looks a little more natural there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll chisel those blocks. And I think I need to put the windows back in here. I just hurried and put some blocks in there because the monsters are out there like crazy. But look at this. We're going pretty good. I'm not convinced I want to leave the health hammers here because it doesn't leave me a lot of room, but they are by the forges. So I might turn them. So they're coming out this way and facing that way. I think I might do that. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, I'm, I may always re rearrange the furniture, if you know what I mean. Because typically I like to rearrange things. So now I need a hopper right in this block so I can have the source material go in there. Hopper to there. Actually, I need a chute and a hopper. So I might have to move that up one. Then I'll have a hopper right here that everything will drop into and into right there and I'll be able to access it right there because once the hopper's there you're not going to be able to access that very good. So we're pretty good and everything seems to be working pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy about that. There's a clutch right up here. I can turn this off and add a little more power to the health hammers. And once I decide where the health hammers are going to go, I'll put a transmission and a clutch right here. I have them. I just haven't decided where to put them quite yet. So we should be good to go. I'm feeling super good about this uh, forge. So um, on to the next step. Okay, guys, the wind has been good to me, so I've been working on some stuff. Um, I did all these plates. I have plus this one. And I did a couple of shoot sections. Um, we have to stop the clanging, though. Guys, the wind is great. My windmill's working great. I, everything is super fast. I mean, I'm just super impressed. So let's pick these up. We're going to make a hopper. So we're going to do... I think we're going to... We're just going to make one for now. I can only make one. Wait a minute, where'd my other one? Okay, so there's one. I might have to make another one. I don't remember exactly how this goes. I know this one is going to sit right there. Then if I make a shoot section, can I just put that right here? Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Can I put it right? Like, no, like that? Oh, come on. So, look at what I did. I organized this. I'm going to get another better crate, but for now, this is all the little stuff that I have, you know, that so ores. I have all of my um, bountiful chunks of hematite there, all of my crushed up ones. I mean, my hammered ones there, the, the bud nuggets. That's all the nickel that I have right up there. Um, and then my fuels right there. I think that looks nice. I am going to eventually have all of the... Um, tool mold so I put in another rack right there and then this will be this again because this will hold everything that I have pulverized like that eventually see that looks nice okay I need one more hopper but let's uh let's test this out let's put in some quartz Let's put in a stack of quartz. Let's turn it on. I have the clutch and stuff over here on this stuff, so we can turn that off. We can turn this on and make it super speedy. Oh. Oh, damn. Shit. That's really speedy. So if we put that in there, will it go? It's not going. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's try something different. Let's turn it off because that's annoying. Let's... <laughs> I should go look at my single player. It's been a while since I did this, and this is not what my brain space is meant to collect. Uh, 
I got it figured, guys. Here we go. So you need, I think you need to come in from behind the pulverizer. I'm not really sure, but it's the way I figured it out. If I put um, stuff in here, I did actually go to my single player game and uh, look at it. And I put the, the shoot underneath a box right there. And then you can see it's, it's going in. And there we go. I put a big chest down here and I moved it to the left. Um, is it going in there? It's not going in there. It's going, staying in the hopper. That's a problem. Okay, so maybe I need to move this chest over here. We can do that. We can do that pretty easily. So let's, whoa, it's going like crazy. So, okay, let's just take this like that. Take the chest and put it right there. Oh my gosh, game, please don't do this to me. That's ridiculous. Who would want it that way? That shouldn't even be an option. Okay. So then we're going to put the hopper back right here. We should still be able to access that chest there. Okay, I thought it might, we might just be able to, we might only be able to access that from the left side, but that isn't true. So let's try this again. Yes. Okay, so we're going to take this off. Whoa, listen to that go. We're gonna put this back. We're gonna chisel some sides and then we're gonna put this uh, on top of here. No, not like that. It's frustrating, I'm frustrated. Super frustrated. Let's get a piece of dirt. Put the dirt right there and then put the trap door right there things are just not going my way guys they're just not going my way there we go like that that way it's kind of like at least it's hidden and there we go we have the pulverizer going so what I did is I brought this wall back one um, and then we'll put all the pulverized stuff in there eventually, but I've got um, more space for more ores and things. Look at all that iron. It's so beautiful. Okay, and so now we have our pulverizer going. I can turn it on and off, and I put these in a row right here, and I can turn it on and off. And they're going pretty nice when the wind goes, um, and I'm planning on stacking. That's weird that they just stopped. There we go. Um, I'm planning on stacking more um, more windmills up above. Jeez Louise, guys. I've been working on this for a while. This is frustrating. Okay, I've got my inventory all cleared out. We've got the pulverizer set up. I've got my forge looking pretty professional here. It's pretty pro looking. I'm pretty happy with it. Now... Uh, I want more, uh, I might just go buy some molds from Apache, uh, to fill those up, but I think this looks pretty nice. I can eventually fill in with some more, uh, better crates, and, uh, it's looking and feeling good. I could even put another health hammer on that if I want. I could actually move it, I did move it back one. You can see I added that just so there'd be a little bit more space right in between here. So, I do need to fix above here. I haven't done that yet. I did chisel this little area so it's kind of back to its pretty space. And I put the table right here so I can eat when I'm working in here. But, what do you guys think? I'm excited about it. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I am going to leave it here with another little iron montage. We have to get some of this iron done. I have, um, let me show you. I have 
64 and 55 blooms ready. So what I'll do in between after this iron montage is do some more fire bricks, get some more going, and I will try to process this metric shit ton of iron I have. But I hope you enjoy. Please stay safe out there. Take care, and I will see you soon. Cue the iron montage music. <laughs>